tired of paying taxes. At least you're honest with me. I'm not getting in the I'm, car. You're not? I'm shutting it off. Here, I'm getting my to, phone. I want you and to I'm stay walking. over here. Put your hands behind your back. You stupid mother... Okay, we're done with this. It's a steamy August day in Stanton County, Nebraska, when a routine traffic stop proves the heat left one woman with no chill. Hello. Deputy Dyer, St. County Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled you over is it looks like your plates are pretty expired. Yeah. Are they expired or you just forget to put the sticker on? No, they're expired. Okay, what's going on with that? I'm tired of paying taxes. Tired of paying taxes? At least you're honest with me. So what made you just decide that you were going to stop that day? Because this is what, two years? A year ago. Okay. It was due a year ago. Yeah, and then it would be due again this July, this yeah. last July. So it's, yeah, I gotcha. What, did, what made you decide you were done paying taxes? Because it's a 2016, it's got over Crazy. They really rob you, but... Yeah, plus it's uh, money that's already been income taxed, you know? I'm right there with you, but you, you know everyone else got to do it. So do you. I'll pay the ticket. Pay the ticket, okay. But it wouldn't be quite that easy. After searching for her insurance, the deputy asked the woman to come to his patrol car to sort out the situation. I'll tell you what, it's hot. I'm going to do this in my car. Can you step out and come to my car and we're going to get this ticket typed out? You get to go in my car. There's also another insurance down here. No, that's 2021. That's not good. Inside the deputy's patrol car, things start to really heat up. There's, there's really nothing I can do. Okay, no, I, I, I don't want you getting back in that car, okay? You're not able to get back in that car. I'm not getting in. I'm, you're not? I'm shutting it off. Here, I'm getting my to, phone. I want you and to I'm stay walking. over here. I want you to stay over Don't here. Don't touch me. I need you to stay over here. I am. It was at this moment our insurance instigator knew she messed up. I am. God damn it. Oh, you mother. You broke my. 312 Norfolk. Can I get another unit? My car is running. Down on the ground. It's a Put your hands behind your back. Put your what hands you? behind your back. Put your hands behind your back before you get in more trouble. I only wanted to do is shut my car off. I can do that for you. I, but you, you don't not need to. to I'm not letting you get I back in I wanted to car. get my phone and shut my car off and you treat me like a drug addict. I do not treat you like anything. Bull do what do you been, call it? I've been very respectful towards you. Now you put liar. your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Then let go of me! God! Good Dollar General. I will put my hands... I can't. Get you on gotta, the ground. You got a hold of my hand! Put your hands behind your back. Like this. Okay. They, Let's do it. You're, let me, God you're not damn it! Up. Get down on the ground. I'm not getting up! I put my hands behind my back! Put your hands behind your back. You stupid mother... Okay. We're done with this. Put you. Give me your hands. You're Mom. just making this worse for yourself. No, you're the one making it worse. You wouldn't let me put my hands behind my back. Put them behind your back. You got an option right now. We're going to have a lot more guys here, and they're not as nice as I am. The woman giving deputies trouble here was later identified as 57-year-old Deanne Karpowicz. She's eventually placed into a patrol car, and that's where the trouble continues. Okay, right over here. You're good. We're gonna backwards. Don't stop! I know you just saved it to get me in the car. I can get it on my own. Okay, go ahead. You guys act like I'm gonna run away. I can't even run. Okay. Sit in the car where it's cool. Take a seat. It's not, God. Easy. It's not easy to get in there. I know it's not. So throw me in. We don't want to do don't that. Do you that. already threw me on the ground. You didn't really give me a choice. No, oh, but didn't stop when I told you. You gotta let me get my okay. keys Okay, watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Get your air going good. Okay. Why don't you get your air going if you don't? Have oh it. yeah, it's it's going pretty good. That's what we got going on. With Deanne secure in the back seat, 
Officers realize they're familiar with our registration rebel. I literally just stopped her for expired registration. Not the end of the world. Um, she goes, I go up to the car and she says, yeah, I'm not paying it. Just give me a ticket. I'll pay the ticket. I don't pay it. I don't believe in taxes. Whatever. So I'm thinking sovereign citizen, going to take off. So I get her out of the car, have her sit in my car. She does that willingly. No problems. Um, and then she chooses to get out when I tell her I'm not going to let her drive her car down if she's not going to fix the registration. She gets out and starts walking towards the front of her car. I get in front of her. Yeah. Sorry, I'm hot. Um, so anyway, she's walking towards the car, I stop her, I say, hey, you don't have to sit in my car, but you can't go back to your car. And she just tries to push past me, and that's when I say, okay, you're going down. And I took her down to the ground pretty gently, I wasn't, she's an old lady, I didn't want to hurt her. And Nobody wants to hurt anybody, she's a keen, which... Yeah, no and she offense, told me that, but... Which, no offense, she has a track record of not caring for law enforcement or whatever. So, but, uh, I was just going to give her a ticket, but now it's just cite her for probably obstructing and registration. The traffic stop doesn't end here. Deputies actually offer to drop the woman off somewhere out of the extreme heat. Are you wanting to go to your dad's house? No. no. You think I want my dad to see me in handcuffs? Well, where would you like to go? Anywhere. Okay, it's a PR bond, right? Okay. It's 12. I should front it. It's a misdemeanor. I'll have to take her to the sheriff's office. But like I said, I'm just going to take my time. Her from the sheriff's office. She can let her go from there. Yeah, I'll take my time with it, though. Walk from there. I, just, I don't know if I want her out in the heat. Uh... With an unclear destination for Deanne, our deputy heads for the sheriff's office, but not without another argument unfolding. Yep, thank you. I'm hot. I need a drink. I'm going to take her to the sheriff's office. Okay. What'd you say? You didn't tell me anything. And if you would have asked, I would have done that for you. Did I tell you to get out of here? And you weren't allowed to. You can't, you don't run this. I run a traffic stop and it's for my safety. Now, how do I know you're not getting in your car telling me that you're just going to shut it off, but you get in and you take off because you know your car is getting taken away? Hey, it's happened to me. It's happened to me. That's why I can't allow it to happen. When I say you need to be out of this vehicle, when I say you need to be out of this vehicle, you're not allowed in it. What? I don't know you. I don't know you at all. I don't know anyone that I saw. I don't know anyone that I saw, but I have to assume the worst, but I treated you like the best. I did. I let you sit in the front seat. Well, no, you did that yourself. I once yelled at you. I spoke to you very respectfully. If your hands were not back behind your back, you did not do it. Well, even when I, uh, even when I let go of your hands, you still didn't put your hands behind your back. You tried to get yourself up, which is not an option. Playing the entire time, but hey, you can take me to court and argue it. I, I treated you with the utmost respect the entire time. The nice deputy extends another offer to drop off the woman somewhere else instead of taking her to jail. So I'm gonna see if we can do something about not sending you to jail tonight. I don't want to have to do that to you. But is there somewhere you would like me to drop you off? Is there somewhere you would like me to drop you off? Is there somewhere I can take you? Otherwise, I don't. I don't need to. If you don't want me to, I won't. But I'm offering. Okay, we'll figure it out when we get to the sheriff's office. Once they get to the sheriff's office, Deanne continues her complaints. Let's see how that works out for her. There you go. 
a lot nice, nice and cold inside. Right up to that door. 1747. Going in all the way down to the wall. We're going to go to that back room that's dark. I will let you sit. Oh, where's the light switch over here? Can you take these off? Are you going to cause any problems? I'm not going to cause any problems. Well, I mean, if you're going to be decent with me, of course I can take them off. Are you going to be decent with me? I don't want to have to tackle you here. I, I really don't. I want to avoid that. Can I have you take a seat in this black chair here? Can I have my phone? Here in a minute. Right now I gotta finish up paperwork before we do anything. Are you okay with the other guys though? No. Today? Doing okay? Just your wrist kind of hurt? You don't care. What was that? You don't care, so why even ask? I wouldn't ask if I don't care. Ask. Are you in pain anywhere? Yes, it fing hurts! From what? Him throwing me down on the ground and twisting my arm. You know, I'm not here to discuss what you did or didn't do before that, you know. I just want my I, I phone will. and the, whatever it is you got to give me. So okay. I can go. Yeah. Well, I can take sure care of that. that. We do we need to call an ambulance for your arm? <sighs> no. Are you sure? <sighs> I could need an ambulance. If you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. It's it's our job. We're gonna do the job however you say you need it. Uh, give me my phone and my stuff so I could go. Yeah. Once I finish this citation, I'll. Officials decide Deanne can leave on a $400 bond or be taken to jail. Easy answer, right? Well, not so much. So I guess I'm trying to find out our next step. All right, if I take you to an ATM, would you be able to pay your own bond? You guys give my brother a PR bond for freaking drugs. Is, that's all there is. That's per the judge. And for freaking be outside naked, hallucinating because he's high on drugs. That's an interesting one. every other month, you know? We do what we can, when we can. We give him a lot of tickets, Dan. You know yeah, that. you guys give him PR bond after PR bond. Because we're forced to. <laughs> yeah. That's per the judge. That's not our decision. We can't set that. So if I took you to an ATM, would you pay your own bond? No. You don't think you'd be able to? Oh, I can if I want to. Oh, you just don't want to. What's that got to do with it? Well, we got to make calls to see who can pay your bond if you don't want to do it. We're probably going to call him and you then your dad. Come get you. I mean, that is what it is. But... Well, he can come get me. Or uh, pay for it, I should say. <laughs> Why should he have to pay for it? You got a credit card. You can just we can walk you over and get, get the cash and pay our, uh, get If I wanted to, I could, yeah. But you want you to go want to jail? To. You don't want to. Why not? I'm such a bad guy. You had to throw me on the ground. Okay. We're, we're past that. You, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am. Maybe you are. You can take me to court on it. <laughs> I'll but, never be past it. But you weren't listening to me. I was treating you with a lot I of respect. I told you. I was just going to shut my car off because it's over 100 degrees outside. My car was sitting there running with the air conditioner going full Sure. More. If you would have asked me, I would have done that for you. But you can't just walk around wherever you want during a traffic stop. And I hope this is a lesson to I you. was walking to my car! 
When I told you not to? And I yes. stopped it! No, you didn't. And then I told you what I was going to do. No, and yes, I said you weren't I did. allowed to. After some negotiating, our perp agrees to pay the piper, and she walks toward an ATM with a deputy by her side. Yep, it's in my car. Are you okay with that, Peterson? Yes. Okay. Nothing in here that we need to be concerned about? I'll give you a cigarette once the bond is paid. Just a second. Just a, I just want to make sure. There's gun in there, trust me. You're good. In the end, Deanne Karpowicz was booked for obstructing a police officer. She also faced several traffic offenses. Deanne was released from custody shortly after posting bail.